shot rings off. As soon as we can shoot out there. I feel like Colin's touching one off. That's just my guess. Where do you think you want to meet? Everybody have to meet up, like this point. This point. If I can burn it faster than I think I can, mm -hmm. I'm going all the way to here and I'm sitting in the saddle. I'm just on my going to those pines if nobody else cares. You might yeah, as you well. Do it. And then, Alex, you probably ought to go somewhere where you can shoot and see it. Just, when you get there, just hunt. You know, just know that that's like your hillside. This will be, I'll kind of take this bull. Mike, would you want to go? Yeah. Somewhere in here? Yeah. Here's what I'm looking at, Ben. If I got an east wind, I could get up here and get on this trail and, and kind of go past this mm -hmm. stand of cedars. Wind? Drive I didn't even think about and the wind. I'll be able to take another go to the trail. I'll work my way back in the east and just have that be my ultimate goal for the morning. And that'll be my second. As you may have gathered, it is gun season. We're doing a little group hunt this morning. It's Alex has a tag. Mike, Colin, and Ben. Dude, Alex has two tags with him. Colin, Mike, and Ben were in here last night and they actually came across quite a few deer. So we just came right back in this morning. We're basically just all hunting large scale land features. Each kind of picking one of the high points in the area, hunting around it. And then we're going to meet midday kind of see what everyone saw and get a plan for the evening. Alex and I walked the trail right to this point. It was really quiet this morning. We just got right off the trail and just set up on a finger to where we're on a bench coming out onto this big flat. We're still really close to the trail, so we didn't know how confident we were the deer would be right here, but we didn't want to just push right in at prime time. Felt like a good spot where deer were going to be. Ended up being a lot of squirrels. Now we're just gonna work right in this bench, out towards a big power line that's on the other side of this bowl. We waited for some more noises to pick up. There's squirrels moving, a little bit of breeze blowing now. We just didn't want to be walking in gray light, making a bunch of noise, trying to get further back when deer could just be right here. For now, we're just gonna try to get in here and shoot a doe at the very least. into service and opened some videos and looks like Mike shot a doe this morning. So we got one on the ground, it's good news. We heard a shot this morning, but I was talking right as the shot went off, so I had no concept of where it was. And Mike was also kind of over the ridge from us and pretty far away at that point. It looked like he shot it right off this power line. So I guess we'll just probably try to just get in touch with those guys and maybe end up just going to that meat spot still. And if Mike gets service, I would imagine we can just hang some meat and buy another tag and just hunt the evening too. The single shot 12 gauge has struck. I think Mike already did get another tag. Did he? Did you get another tag? Of course I of did. Of course I did. Okay, so Mike's tagged up. <laughs> okay. That's good news. that 
brush on the left side of the trail is and got spooky over what was right over there. She ended up just turning back and got to the left side of the trail. I waited and let her come in as close as she could. She picked me off again. She did one head bob. Sacked her, but she basically blew her over backwards. Got to love an empty one. Yes, go see her. Ooh, that is a healthy one. Dude. She's a she's a good girl. And then as you can see right here, this is this is actually where I where I cut the bullet out of her. Just underneath the hide on this hind quarter. Full deal, dude. We're gonna get her cleaned up and probably find a new spot for the afternoon. You got another tag in your pocket, so we're still running yeah, full tag. Low priority tag, so I can do some <laughs> dogging tonight. We gotta do a little bump and run. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. All right, let's get this thing cleaned up. Yeah. Let's go. Cool. First, uh, first Ohio public deer. Actually, I just did that 10,000 yards. 